Well, here we are back at Delicate Art. Now, to be honest with all of you, I have never been to Delicate Art Arch, except I think maybe my parents took me to it when I was super little, but I don't really remember it. So what I want to do is I want to pretend like I've been to it. And the purpose of this is to show you how to use a, a mask, how to use masking. So I'm going to go to Bridge and grab this uh, picture of me, and I'm just going to drag it right into Delicate Arch. And because it's a camera raw image, it opens up in here. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to um, change the exposure just a little bit, maybe temperature up, color temperature up a little bit, and then click OK, and it's going to place me as a smart object in here. Now, a smart object is something that uh, it's kind of a non-destructive form. So I'm just going to hold down the Shift key while I change the size of me. And since in this image my elbow's cut off, I'm going to drag me to the corner here where my elbow's cut off, and my leg's cut off, just so it looks like I'm kind of standing in front of the camera off to the side. Now, I'm going to hit Enter to accept those, that size and, the, um, and where I placed it. And now, what the thing I want to do is I want to erase everything that is not me. So I'm going to grab this eraser, and I'm going to come on here, I'm going to try to erase, but it says, whoa, you can't because this is a smart object. Uh, it's not rasterized. This is just an object that's been placed on here. It just refers to the image. It's not actually taking the pixels into here. It just looks like it did. <laughs> but it, it's a non-destructive way to put it. So I need to rasterize a smart object. I say yes. Now it's rasterized. And now I can start erasing stuff. So I'm just going to start erasing everything that isn't me. Erase, 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 erase. Erase, erase, erase. Now, when I get close to me, it's kind of hard to erase. This eraser, I've made it kind of a fuzzy eraser. And I'm going to try to be careful not to erase, to not erase anything that's me. But that's really hard to do. And it's easy to make a mistake as I go through. Oh, oh man. Well, I can just undo Control Z, but what if I went back too far? It's kind of... It's kind of frustrating. I, I, that, this isn't a good way to do it. So I'm going to just Control Z my ba way out back. That's I mean sh Control Alt Z. That undoes everything. A better way to do this is to use a mask. So I'm going to um, click right here and I'm going to create a layer mask. So there I am. There's a layer mask. Now it created it with white. Now if you remember. In, cl in class, I told you that white conceals and black reveals the layer underneath. So when I start painting, I'm going to use my paintbrush over here. I press B or just click right there. If I paint black, it reveals the layer underneath. It's kind of nice as I go through there, but that's probably not the best way to do it. So I'm going to control, I'm going to Alt Control Z a couple of times to get it back there. I think I want to use. See, now I have this mask layer, so if I paint right here, I'm painting either black or white on this mask. But if I click here, I can select things about just the image. So I am going to select uh, me. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to drag over me with the click, quick selection tool. I'm going to select me. Now notice it, it selected some areas that I didn't want to select, like this corner right here. I'm just going to keep going over me. Selecting, selecting, selecting right here. And get that hand a little better. Let choose that a little better. And now I want to deselect some of this. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and that gets rid of the selection. And that did an OK job. I'm going to add a little bit more to that. And then I'm going to deselect this black that's in here. Oh, now I need to reselect this area. So I'm holding now the Alt key to deselect. I'm holding down the um, just the, the tool to select. So I'm going to deselect my shirt again. Oh, wait, wait. I want to select this shirt right here. So I'm not holding down the Alt key right now. I'm just going painting along there to select that. And I want to add to that selection down there. So I'm just going to kind of click and drag. Oh, I want to deselect that area in there. So I'm Alt clicking and dragging. And I'm, I'm getting an okay selection of me. It's not the most fabulous one. I could go through and refine the edge like I've shown you in other 
lessons. In fact, why don't I just do that really fast? I'll click, see, I click that refine edge. I'm gonna, I probably did that too fast. I'm gonna click right here. When I'm, I'm using quick select tool, I can refine the edge. And I can see the edge that I'm working with. I'm gonna um, make the, the tool just a little bigger. I'm just gonna go around the edge of my head here, around the edge here, around the edge of my shirt. And Photoshop does a good job of finding the edge. And I'll do it right here, right along here. I'm going to paint that in again because I'm not going to worry about that too much right there because I want to just demonstrate this quickly. And get around the side of my head here. Okay, now I'm going to do a new layer with layer mask. Actually, I don't want to do a layer with layer mask. I want to do just a selection. So I'm going to click OK. And this is going to select me, right? But I don't want to select me. Actually, I'm going to add to my selection just a little bit because of that area right there. I'm going to hold down the Shift key. And I'm just going to go right here and select. So it's, it selects my pants, too. Now I want to invert the selection so it doesn't select me, it selects this outer area. So I'm going to go to Select Inverse, and then I'm going to go right here. And now I want to delete. See, now that what's selected is, is everything that's not me on this layer. It's going to turn it black, so I get Delete. Actually, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to Paint. I'm just going to paint everything black right here. And since I'm selected, since everything around me, it's only painting over what I selected. So now I can deselect Control D and I can move me around and I kind of appear. Now it looks like I'm there, except I kind of made this area a little bit too fuzzy. Now here's where the magic of, of um, masks comes in. I'm going to repaint in me. I'm going to switch this by clicking here from black to white because remember white conceals and I want to conceal the layer behind me. I'm going to use the paintbrush. I'm going to make it smaller by clicking the left bracket tool. I'm just going to paint right along here. I'm going to paint me back in that edge. And then I'm going to go a little smaller. And I'm going to change it again. And I'm going to paint in that edge around my ear and right here. Now if I don't want the edge to be if I want the edge to be a little fuzzier, I can do that by coming right here in this brush tool and I can go I can change the hardness so it's a softer brush. And then when I paint it makes the edge a little softer. And see I, I, I think I made that a little bit too um, Hard, so I want to paint it back in. I want to conceal it again. So I'm just going to paint right there, right here. And I am now looking like I appear. So you add a layer mask, and then you can punch holes in it by painting black around it. And that's what I did right here. So I'm gonna, oh, I painted black by accident, so I'm going to change that to white. And I'm going to do this. When While you're doing this, though, you need to make sure that you're painting on the mask layer and not on the image layer. And so black reveals the layer underneath, white conceals it. Looks like I need to reveal a little bit more underneath here. So I'm just gonna kind of paint through. That's all right. That's actually an all right um, mask there. Let me kind of get in a little more there. Switch, hit the X to switch. Kind of go right there so the edge of my shirt's. Oops, I did too far, so I switch. Come up here and I paint out some of that black. Oops. Conceal it. There we go. All right, so X exchanges these colors. Notice I'm hitting X and it's going from black to white or you can click there. So white conceals the layer underneath, black reveals it. There we go, and now, without ever going there, I visited Delicate Arch.